Hello everybody and welcome to another video. As you are aware, in my last video I unboxed this 13-inch 2009 MacBook Pro. It has a dead hard drive. Uh, as you saw, the um, it took a while but the little folder uh, with the question mark came up which basically means it, it, it couldn't find an operating system. I did boot it onto the Snow Leopard disk to see what was, what was occurring and basically the hardware is, is, is just knackered. Um, I tried reformatting it but it just clicked, clicked, clicked. Um, then I made a crunching sound and then I was like okay it's, it's time to turn off. So in this video we're going to be not just replacing it with another hard drive, we're going to be replacing the 160 gig hard drive that's in there at the moment with this. It's a 64 gig uh, SanDisk SSD. Um, 6 gigabit per second. Um, I'm not sure what, what uh, SATA revision this MacBook has. I believe it's SATA 2. So we won't get the, the, the maximum speed out of it, but I've never had a SATA SSD. You know I put an IDE SSD in my PowerBook G4 and that made a massive difference. This is just going to be ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I'm going to flip the MacBook over now and uh, we're going to dig into this uh, MacBook Pro. So, as always, um, put something underneath your computer so it's just common sense so it doesn't scratch. I've got this weird rubber mesh stuff, but um, it'll, it'll do the trick. Um, I've just got to find my... there it is. Um, this one, this particular MacBook Pro doesn't use the Torx screws. Um, this is before Apple uh, really started locking down. Um, so yeah, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, Phillips screws, and then this uh, bottom casing lifts off. So there we go. That was really, really simple. And off this whole bottom panel, it just lifts off, just like that. There's the battery, there's the optical drive, there's the RAM, there's a logic board, and there is the focus of today's video. So this is the 160 gig, and yes, it is um, the original Apple branded uh, drive. It's really quite simple. Honestly, guys, people say, oh, you can't replace the battery. Yeah, you can. It's literally just a case of a couple of screws and the connector. On it, I don't mind these kind of um, internal batteries because they're so they're incredible batteries as they are. They last f forever, literally, and um, yeah, it's relatively easy when you do have to replace them. Um, this only has um, 300 charges, the seller said, so it, it it should be good to go for a good few years yet. Um, but yeah, the, the hard drive bracket there's um, four. Uh, screws. I forgot the fucking word for screws then. Um, there's one little bracket on this side and... oh no, 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 there's just two, sorry. Um, that's the actual holder for the two screws there. So it just pops out like that. Um, there's the SATA connector. Um, it pops out like that. That is going to be going straight in the bin. Um, or recycled or wherever. But yeah. Now for this guy. So then, let's unbox this SSD first. Um, push it around, this way around. A little bit of solid tape. There we go. Out pops the SSD. It's incredible how quick, uh, sorry, how, how um, cheap SSDs are now these days. The price has just fallen through the floor. But there it is. Brand spanking new SanDisk SSD. Um, it's nothing special in, to, in the SSD world, but it's just so much faster and so much cooler than a, a standard hard drive. Out it pops, they're so light as well. They are so, so light. Um, here we go. Let's just pop this off. Like so. And there is the SSD. Let's get it in the MacBook Pro. I cannot wait, guys. Cannot wait. So here's the MacBook Pro uh, once more. Here's the SSD. I just cannot get over how light it is. It's such a massive difference. It's ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Simple as that. 
in it goes. Um, I will have to put obviously the the little screws on that were on here um, if I wanted wanted to sit it in in the laptop properly, but that shouldn't be too difficult. So I actually had to use a different um, screw because weirdly these hard drive uh, screws look like they're they're of a different um, thread size to other normal sized hard drive screws. Luckily, that, luckily I had a few uh, lying around, but yeah, it, it not not a biggie, but. It fits in uh, quite nicely, and it looks absolutely awesome as well. So, in we go, and it's simply, that's it now, it's just a case of screwing everything back together. Um, I won't bore you with that. So, uh, when everything is all back together, we're going to try and install Yosemite, um, the public beta, on this MacBook. So, stay tuned. Okay then, so everything is now put back together. Uh, the SSD is nice and secure inside the laptop. Um, I have Yo uh, OS X Yosemite Public Beta 1, I believe, on this... Oh God. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. On this uh, USB stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and... If I can find the USB stick. Uh, USB port, there we go. We're going to boot it up. We're going to hold down Option and see what the MacBook can find. Here we go, OS X base system. Um, trying to get the best view for you here. If I move you a little bit closer actually. Not very professional, but uh, nevertheless. There we go, nice close up view. Enter. So it's now booting up the OS X uh, Yosemite installer. There's no more, no more, no longer a spinning gear. Now that is really, really cool because the number of issues people have with Macs. People send me questions. Niall, um, my iBook, my PowerBook, my Power Mac, whatever, is stuck on the spinning gear. Of course, when it's a spinning gear, you don't know at what stage in the boot up process it gets stuck at. With this, you can sort of, as it's a progressive line, you can see what's going on and um, if it does go wrong, where it goes wrong. So, um, yeah, the display is in really nice condition. It was in pretty dirty. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Booted up really, really quickly. Um, it was in really quite dirty condition, so I've given it one hell of a clean. And um, it's looking really, really nice now. If we go continue, continue, agree. And it can't find the SSD. Now, that's got me a little bit scared, but I believe you just have to format it. Yeah, there we go. Awesome stuff. 64 gig uh, SanDisk S SSD. Um, arrays, Mac OS X Extended Journaled. That had me worried for a second there. Macintosh, Macintosh. Oh, SSD, not like Macintosh HD. Arrays, arrays. 64 gig is, is enough for me on this laptop. As I said, everything is in iCloud. Um, so yeah, what what laptop should I keep? I may as well put this question out now. The PowerBook or this MacBook? Um, leave a comment in the, in the uh, comment section down below and explain why. Because I'm I'm really stuck here. Do I stick with the PowerPC thing, but have to put up with a with a heavier, um, bigger laptop, or do I have this quicker quicker smaller laptop? But it's Intel. What one do I keep? I, I I'm really gonna have to ask you guys here. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna let this install, and uh, I'll be back with you when it when it's just about finishing. So, so then here we go. Um, it's just finished installing. It took quite a while, to be fair. Um, but I'm not really. I don't know how long it takes these days. Um, but yeah, booting up. Everything seems to have installed absolutely fine. Um, this is first boot, obviously again. So uh, it won't be as quick as it would normally be but it should be this should be booting on the SSD now in the install you can't ah oh, here we go, oh, that wasn't too bad um, you can't edit the brightness or anything it's stuck at like middle but um, yeah it looks like everything installed absolutely fine um, if I just install uh, sorry enter all this information and and I'll be back with you on the desktop. 
But here we go, OS X Yosemite on this uh, MacBook t that was sold to me as dysfunctional and ready ready for scrap, basically. Awesome stuff. I don't know what that is. Feedback assistant. Mm, don't know. About this Mac. Uh, you can see there. Oh, hang on, if I, if I turn on zooming. Um, where to is it? Accessibility. Oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, right, it's, it's because it's a public beta and you're meant to. I got it. Accessibility. Zoom. Um, there we go. Go. Nice stuff. There we go then. Processor 2.26 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM, 9400M with the 250 meg, uh, 56 meg um, shared memory. I will be upgrading the, the memory in in this um, at some point in the near future. Um, storage Macintosh SSD, 64 gigs solid state SATA drive, awesome stuff, and I've got 52 gigs free, so that should be plenty for what I'm what I'm going to use this for. But um. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, this is an awesome buy, and as I said before, leave a comment uh, down below. What what one should I keep, the the PowerBook or or this one? Because I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Um, if I just check, double check the battery actually. Um, where is it? Power. Check how many cycles it's got. Three hundred seventy-five. So. That's about a third of the way through through um, what Apple claims to be these batteries lifespan, so this should last forever now, basically. But yeah, that's my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, th these couple of little video guys, videos, guys, and um, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.